I feel there's something that we are not addressing in this Nigeria that we are just ignoring. And the thing is eating us deeply. It doesn't concern the government, it concerns you and I. It doesn't concern the government. Government no grant for this one. This is our own greed. Why be like say we they sell money for this our country? New new money. Why? In parties, banks do no longer give ordinary customers new cash again. Unlike before, I remember that time. If you go bank, any money made there about any money they'll give you sharply. But now eh, if now new money they say bank and you want to go withdraw, they'll tell us no money. Bankers will tell you there is no money because they're going to sell it to customers, to other people, to vendors. Or should you, let me call them vendors. They're going to sell those cash to vendors. The cash vendors will sell it to party goers for a higher amount. Maybe, for example, if you want to get 50,000 Naira, the bundle of 50,000 Naira, hmm? 50,000 Naira, 500 Naira, 50,000 Naira, you want to get that money. You will pay 5,000 Naira to get it. So it will charge you as more as 10,000 Naira. Yes, so. So we charge you as more as 10,000 Naira. So these bankers will sell it for 30,000 Naira. Then these people will sell it for 5,000 Naira, keep it 2,000 Naira profit. We they sell Naira for inside Nigeria. Ha! Ah, everything we want to make profit. Government want to tax everything. We ourselves, we want to make profit. Every, in every aspect of Nigeria life, everybody want to just make profit. And yet, now we they go church pass. Now we would go box pass. But we won't want to make profit. Most of you watching me now, now in our business with that. But yet, you'll just say, ah, there's nothing I can do now. That is my only source of income now. Good and fine, because you have already wired your brain. That oh, this is Lega stuff. That will be all my source of income for the rest of my life. God has answered your prayer. That, okay, since you want to go this rugged way, so shall it be. The end of it, you are going to see it. Because it's working for you now, it's sweet for you now. You don't know you are committing sins. Selling cash, Nigeria, Naira in Nigeria. Bankers now they are all worse pass. They no longer give cash again. They will give you one whole money card. This is a wicked. You can hardly go to a bank now and say you want to withdraw money. And you will see uh, correct money. La la. Hardly. 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 Well, check this out from this uh, address. It's crazy, man. At least, not be everything we go for make money now. Not everything that we that we should be looking forward to make money from. According to actress Mary Ujoku, she said, I still can't get around the fact that cash is sold in Nigeria. You work hard to make money and you spend your money to assess your hard-earned money. Premium madness. Cash spray that party are gotten from bank. Nigerian bank now prefer to sell cash. And nobody is saying anything. Exactly. They now prefer to sell cash. They, they sell money for bank. Somebody say bring the evidence. Although there's no evidence, nobody has exposed them yet because they are still benefiting from it because they will still sell it as well. But God knows that there are evidence plenty. Somebody might say you will talk tire. Oh Allah. Well, I just want you to be aware because you know the truth. You know exactly what I'm saying is the truth. You, as a Nigerian, you know. You know the truth. Then the other day we see Charlie Poppy. They use money to the clean uh, 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 face. All those things are personal, I think, personal training. If you want to be rugged, if you want to be rugged to some to some means, if you want to be indisciplined, it's based on you. 
It's not even money. There are people who have money, they will never try that such thing. There are people who don't have money, but they will want to try it. Eh? So it's based on personal uh, discipline. So I bet they use 50 to 500 around to the clean sweat. Abba. Which would they prove? So the problem, my guy, oh, for that matter, I don't know. You get money, oh, you can decide to do whatever you like, oh, but you know, you know, bam like that. You know, you get money, so there is no need to the pepper people to take out the clean sweat. You know the pepper people again. People do not care again. People do not care. People do not go. I say I'm so lucky to be aware. I'm so very, very, very lucky because not everybody get that sense of being lucky, of being aware of some certain things in this world. Not everybody. Ah, I'm so lucky. I pray I should continue being aware. So let's talk about Mr. Macaroni and Sawoli at Tony Olumelu's white or white party. You know, to the to the Lumelu, Organized all white party in his uh, in Lagos, an invited bunch of uh, of course credible art, uh, uh, credible people, and the Sawolu, the gov governor of Lagos State, was there to grace the occasion. There, you know, because of the whole issue of SARS, Mr. Macaroni was greatly among the people who fought diligently. Among them, so because of the old issues. Mr. Macaroni already vowed that he's not going to talk to Sawa Olu again. So Sawa Olu was passing by. Mr. Macaroni saw Mr. Macaroni saw Sawa Olu with Tunolu Melo. Mr. Macaroni greeted Tunolu Melo, but didn't greet Sawa Olu, the Lagos State Governor. Sawa Olu was like, uh uh, didn't you see me? Or oh, Abi, you don't want to greet me? And Sawa Olu went back to shake him and they greeted <laughs> i know some of you might say oh why is that why mr macaroni they do all those kind of things i think too big and i think too big you know nobody owe any greeting to anybody the only thing is that eh, we should respect our elders and also some people who are very well notable, who have done so much in the public. People do not a young person, and you know that person have tried well, he's a responsible person. Everyone elders should even greet that person whenever they see that person. But in this our culture, we were taught to always obey our elders, greet our elders, to ballet for elders. Even if the elders they do wrong thing, you know, even if the elders they do bad thing, you know, obey the ballet, the ballet. Well, I like what Mr. Macaroni did. Sawo Olu no be God. But yet again, I also like what Sawo Olu did. Sawo Olu acted like an elder statesman. You know, if now some leader says, some leader will not work well, work up as uh, Mr. Macaroni, be like, what you concerned because I don't guy. But Sawo Olu noticed Mr. Macaroni, went back, scored Mr. Macaroni, and also straight out, uh, straight uh, out his hand for a shake. And Mr. Mac Macaroni uh, greeted accordingly. Straight up, that is, Sawo Olu do the right thing. And Mr. Macaroni as well did the right thing as well because of what he has passed through, what he's agitating for, and what he has what he has uh, what he has witnessed. So they do uh, they do what they're supposed to do for them. So nobody to blast anybody at all. Nobody should blast anyone. The director said Mr. Macaroni should have simply ignored Sawolu. That's the right thing to do after the answer incident. And what he personally went through. No one is entitled to anyone respect, elder or not. Let's not forget all that happened in Lagos during the general election. This is the problem with people. Majority are outraged online, but can't keep the energy offline. Exactly. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Majority will come online and they, they tweet rubbish. Hey, Sawolu, you are a bad leader, you are a bad leader. But if they see Sawolu physically, ah, good day, sir. Ah, good day, sir. Ah, good day, sir. Ah, how is work, sir? Ah, I've been enjoying. Oh, thank you very much for what you have been doing. But online, Sawolu, 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 do this. Keep the same energy. Die. That's why I said, what Mr. Macaroni did, absolutely correct. And the way Sawolu handled it, also really really correct because I will have some leader that won't that won't even care. But he noticed it. He noticed it. He cared. That's why he went back. He noticed it and he cared. That's why he looked back. I mean, while talking about Tony Olumelu's party self, some people went crazy over that party. People are blaming him that so so you get big money like that here organize this big big huge party and yet your staff your staff they they suffer you know no one may mind enjoy himself again you know no one make Tonolumelu enjoy himself again who tells say now only Tonolumelu they enjoy that party staffs are also invited no be your staff though made that place not too full. But branch uh, uh, lead, uh, should I say branch leaders are also were also invited. Someone said, Tony Lumelu workers labored for January to December to sustain his business and increase his wealth. He hosted a private end of year party and invited celebrities instead. None of them have contributed. A percent to Tunolumelu's wealth, but when is towards the end of year party, his impulse first record recorded celebrity as the guest. Let me tell you something. All those guests also, they never collect anything from Tunolumelu now, but his workers are collecting salary. The workers definitely collected end of year stipends, collected provision. So I beg, eh, when a man is doing business, eh, let him do his business well. He's paying salary now, and according to the labor force, self, he's even paying way amount, way more than what the federal government said. Minimum wage, how much? How much did they pay? But did they pay bank as past federal government? So for me, if you check the bracket of the employment from uh, to Numenu, it's kind of like okay, oh, very, very, very okay, very, very, very okay. So. Tony Melo inviting people to his private party. It's called private party because they have their own party. Those people don't get their own party to do. They also get their own party to do. This is very, very ridiculous. Ridiculous uh, or, uh, statement. Allow the guy to to, 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 to enjoy himself. You know what all those celebrities they do for her. You know the exposure. More credibility to know that he is a good businessman, well trusted, bringing more people. Not just pay the, pay the bank way back, big big money. Allow the man is also not like he's also indirectly making wealth. Yes, so indirectly making wealth. There might be a big man somewhere who haven't seen the video before, who cannot go to the video concert because of the crowd. So let me go tell and say, you know what? You are my guy, eh? I, I get this business. You want to see the video? I will invite the video come this party and you will come there. The video will be their private party. And the video will actually be there. Don't you know there are some people like that? There are some people who want to meet Ronaldo personally. Big, big men. But they don't get how they go take meet. But someone who are close to Ronaldo might strike a deal with them and they will bring them to come see Ronaldo physically. They do do that. This is everything about straight up. They work for office, work for office. They, 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 they believe everybody get their own duty. They are all important. But don't just say to the Lumelo should not be hosting a party. 